Benham's have been used for medicines for many years. They're the first ever high blood pressure medication owes its discovery to snake venom. Here at Venomtech, we're actually looking at other uses of venoms to find out um, new mechanisms that could be therapeutically useful in the future. In this cabinet here behind glass, we have the scorpions that are listed under the Dangerous Wild Animals Act, um, and we are licensed to keep under that act. Um, they include the uh, wonderful common names like the Death Stalker and the African Fattail, uh, whose genus Androctonus actually translates to man killer. And that's what we've got here uh, in this group. Venom is an un untapped resource. It's a um, complex mixture of different molecules and we don't know what's in there. So there's this opportunity for a large number of compounds that we can screen. Um, so I am in particular am using venoms to target a particular protein that's found on the surface of cancer cells and in breast cancer. Um, and this protein is uh, important in uh, the way the cancer behaves, so it um, makes them very aggressive, makes them grow very quickly. And so by blocking this particular protein, we can actually stop these cancer cells from being able to grow. Pancreatic cancer is the tenth most common cancer um, in the UK, but it accounts for the, it's the fourth leading cause of cancer-related death. So although it's um, one of the rarer types of cancer, it's really aggressive um, and currently there aren't very many effective treatments for pancreatic cancer. Venoms are made up of hundreds, if not thousands, of different components um, and they've evolved over millions of years uh, for prey capture and for defence. Um, therefore, uh, with all of these different components which are unique to each different snake or venomous animal. Um, it provides a huge library of different compounds that we can screen um, and they may have serendipitously um, evolved to treat things like such as cancer um, or other medical conditions. So I've looked at um, a lot of snakes, I've looked at um, mambas, cobras and a large number of pit vipers but I've also done quite a lot of work looking at invertebrate venoms so I've been looking in um, tarantula venoms, scorpions and also had a look at some centipede venoms. Now that we have compounds that are showing an effect against my protein we need to identify them so we can send those samples off for identification and get some data back and then these can be tested um, against other human cells to make sure that they are specifically affecting the cancer cells and not cells in general. So we're right at the beginning of the drug discovery process. Um, so once we've identified something that is effective in pancreatic cancer, um, we need to check whether it's having an effect on other human cell types. Once we've um, assess that it's selective for the cancer type and that it's not having detrimental effects in healthy cell types or any other cell types. Um, this could then proceed through to animal testing, for example in mice, um, and then eventually uh, possibly into human clinical trials.